Hello. You see, I have a burden in my heart for the young parents and for the single who are not even married yet, but looking forward to getting married. I just believe it's very, very important and critical to learn about raising children. Intentionally go out of your way to learn about raising godly children. It's so critical. It's so important. No one has ever been a parent before. But there are people who have gone ahead of us. And they've made the mistakes. They've also seen the victories. And it would be a good idea to learn from them. So to every young parent out there, to every intending parent out there, this is the time to go learn about life, learn about raising children. I've raised some children, and I've also come to the stage in my life where my house is empty. So we're the ones they call the empty nesters. So what is that lesson for you that you have not even gotten to where I am right now? Lesson number one is that you must make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life. From day one, get Jesus involved, get the Holy Spirit involved in raising a godly family, in raising godly children, and in building up a godly home. It's very important. Number two, make sure you remain very close and good friends with your spouse. Don't let the children come in between you and your spouse. Why? Because the time is coming, whether you like it or not, when all those children will leave your house. And so it will be you and your spouse left. And if you're not friends, then it becomes very, very terrible. It becomes a season of boredom, a season of frustration, and most often will lead to divorce and separation. Number three, this talk about my children are my children and so they remain my children, they cannot be my friends. That's not true. There is a time for raising the children. There is also a time for now engaging them one-on-one -on -one and building a relationship with them intentionally where they are your friends and they can open up to you and tell you things and not feel bad or feel strange about having to confide in you. There is a time for building relationship. Everything in life is about building relationship. You need to build relationship with your spouse. You also need to build relationship with your children. You need to build relationships because relationships are very important to making life enjoyable. If you don't have good relationships, towards the end of your life, you'll see yourself being a very lonely person. So you must be intentional about building good, lasting relationships. The Bible says that he that must have a friend must himself be friendly. So how friendly are you? For you to have friends, you have to sow in your friends. You have to sow not just in, you know, physical things or carnal things, sowing, you no, know, sowing in terms of maybe visiting each other. No, no, you have to sow in the place of prayers. You need to pray for your friends. Ask God to keep the friendships. It's very difficult to keep friendships, you know. One thing or the other comes up. But I remember the advice that my best friend gave me. She's late. She's in heaven right now. But she said to me, said, don't concentrate on the weak points of your friends. Rather, concentrate on their strength and then pray about their weak points. When you do this, I'm telling you, you will have some friends for your long run, for your older age. You will have friends. Friends that become like brothers. Friends that you can trust and rely on. And that's why it's important as you get older, it's very important you connect with your schoolmates. Connect with your university schoolmates, your secondary schoolmates is important. Be a builder. Don't be a destroyer of relationships. Another thing you must prepare yourself for, because a lot of times when these things happen, when you're young, you're not thinking about old age at all. You're thinking everything is going to remain so as is. But a time comes when suddenly your house becomes empty. How prepared are you for that period? It's important you prepare for that period. It's important you start now to begin to think about then how you're going to cope 
So you must keep yourself busy. You must find something to do that you love to do. Something that will take your time. Because once you have lots of time in your hands and you're doing nothing, that's when depression comes. That is when the devil starts playing big time. So you must keep yourself busy. What do you want to keep yourself busy doing? Find it. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you find it. Life is amazing. Whether we like it or not, it's going to happen to everyone. That you see yourself... You were once young, now you're getting older and older. You can see the looks are changing. Everything about you is changing. Most importantly, your house is emptying. And don't be in a hurry to send off your children from the home. If you can keep them a little longer, just to groom them better, to get them, you know, well-cultured, well-trained, well-discipled, before you let them go, that will be better. So these are the tips I have to give you. Then your health, very important. Start now to exercise. Start now to eat right. Start now to just do that thing that will keep you healthy. Drink enough water. Sleep well. Those things matter. They matter and they count towards the end and towards your older years. How you're going to turn out will be exactly what you're doing now. Your hair, do you want your hairline to be still intact? Then watch all those braids. Watch all the things you're doing to your hair. Look after your hair. Because your hair is your crown. Your hair is your beauty. But you know, most importantly, is spend quality time in God's presence. Let the Holy Spirit give you the heavenly downloads of every aspect of your life that will make your life good, rich, beautiful. Be a part of a group. In church be a worker don't be a loner there's nothing good about being lonely make friends be friendly so in friendships make sure that Jesus is your best friend well these are the tips I have for you for today the more I remember the more I will tell you but remember if you're a young person and you're not married keep your body don't be in a hurry to start sleeping with any man because a time will come when you get tired of sleeping with that anybody, your husband. So keep your body. If you're a male, keep your body. Don't go around. Because everyone you sleep with, you have a soul tie with them. So keep yourself. Honor God with your body. And I've seen that when you honor God with your body, God honors your marriage. God makes sure that you have a happy home, a beautiful home. And God fights your battles. I'm not saying that there are no, no battles to be fought in marriages. There will always be battles. But God will fight them. But learn to honor people. Learn to honor your in-laws. Every addition to you as an in-law is a gift from God. Nourish them. You can build good relationships even with your in-laws. It's all about being intentional. This is, my name is Evangelist Chichi Emaudi anyway, and this is just the time I've just come to just share out of my own personal life experiences of what you can do to make sure that your older years are good years. Most importantly, celebrate yourself. Don't wait for anyone to celebrate you. Have fun. Have fun. Within the boundaries of God, of course. Live for Jesus. Very important. Most important is to live for Jesus. God bless you.